Hi guys, so the first dish we're gonna to do today is a roast uh, supreme of chicken. Local free range uh, chicken from Armagh. Uh, we're gonna roast that in some thyme, some butter and some garlic. Get as much extra flavor in there as we can. We're gonna serve that with a porcini gnocchi dumpling, a butter confit leek and a selection of uh, porcini and wild mushrooms. A little bit of wilted spinach and then this really beautiful, rich uh, roast chicken cream sauce. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cook the uh, chicken breast. We need to season it first, so sea salt and cracked black pepper. Flesh side up. It's a generous layer of salt. And get a nice medium hot pan. Some light olive oil. Just gonna place that in, skin side down. So we want a nice crisp exterior. So the skin's really dry to, to help aid that uh, crispy skin. And then before, the, before we butcher down the chicken, we've, we've, we've brined it in a salt solution to help keep it more moist. Just gonna get some nice color on this and we're gonna add some butter towards the end, get it nice and basted. Gonna add some thyme and some crushed garlic. Uh, so this is going to take about six to eight minutes in a, in a, in a hot oven. It's about 185 full fan. To add a good knob of unsalted butter. Add our thyme. Add our garlic. And all we're going to do is just baste the, the skin of the chicken. So that lovely, fragrant, herby butter. And we're just gonna turn that over. Just gonna have a little bath in this delicious flavor. And then we're just gonna go to the oven. Hot oven, six minutes. Not sauce on the chicken. Okay, so now we're gonna finish off our garnish. So we've started with uh, Maris Piper or rooster potatoes for our gnocchi. Turned that into dry mash, seasoned it, and we've added some uh, rehydrated porcini mushrooms, which are rehydrated in the water where we're cooking the mashed potato just to concentrate all that flavor. And then we've added some whole egg, some rice flour, some potato starch. And we've taken this really lovely leek Slice it down, we cook that really slowly in garlic, thyme, rosemary, and butter. And then it saves you just some rehydrated wild mushrooms and some porcinis. So, medium hot pan, bit of oil, in we go with our gnocchi. And we get a nice crust on that. Same with our leek. And then with our mushrooms, we're just gonna add them to our, our sauce. I'm gonna bring that up to the boil, simmer it. So we just want a nice golden crust. Touch more butter for good measure. We'll season it. We want to season as we go so the food you know, absorbs the salt as opposed to the seasoning right at the end. Therefore, we'll have the salt sitting on top of the food. And we're going into the oven for a couple of minutes. Okay, so our chickens had four minutes, give or take. And contrary to popular belief, uh, generally 
white meats like chicken are, are, are always overcooked. It doesn't take that long. Uh, you know, whenever you, whenever you take the meat out of the oven, we're gonna rest it and there's gonna be enough residual temperature just to keep cooking that protein, just finish it off. And then we're gonna keep basting it in this lovely herby, garlicky, buttery bath. So we're about another two minutes away on that. One minute away on our gnocchi. It's exceptionally hot. I know it's hard to get the get the feeling of heat across on, on the on, on the camera to you guys at home, but uh, so now we're at 32 degrees over there. It's about I'd say close to 40 here. By the time we get a full restaurant, and the grill's on full whack and the oven's been open and closed. It's kind of a bit like Mordor, uh, but you get used to it. No, tolerate it. Yes, but all for the love of all for the love of the customer and love of the restaurant. That's gonna rest for seven or eight minutes just to let all that cooking liquor and the juices just relax because as soon as we take it out of the oven it's all it's all tensed up so we just want it to chill out so in the meantime we're going to wilt some spinach just a little bit of green veg for the bottom of the plate so medium hot pan a little touch of butter a little touch of stock Cracked black pepper. This is only gonna take 20 seconds. So you're just softening that down. Lovely butter emulsion. You smell the fragrance of that black pepper. One thing we're gonna do with our sauce, just in case you think I hadn't used enough butter in the dish, we're just gonna add a little touch more to the sauce just to enrich it. It's off the heat. Just gonna stir in a knob of cold diced butter. It's called Monte au beurre. It's a classical French technique. You're mounting the sauce with fat. So you got a lovely, glossy, shiny, rich roast chicken cream sauce, with some beautiful mushrooms. And then we're gonna start the plate. Okay, so I'm just gonna take our chicken ever so slightly, neaten it up a little bit. And then we're gonna carve it. So three nice pieces of, you see that really beautiful, juicy chicken. Gonna start with our spinach. Leek on. Mushrooms. And then we're just gonna fill the gaps in with our sauce. And it's a little bit of fresh watercress. Finish it off. Roast Irish chicken with uh, porcini gnocchi, wild mushrooms, roast chicken, cream sauce, uh, some roasted spinach and watercress. We've cooked it, now we're gonna eat it. We've got a really beautiful, crispy skinned, herb roasted butter chicken. Uh, so, cut into that. Our lovely cream sauce, our gnocchi. A really beautiful dish, balanced, seasoned, 
full of flavor. Really delicious, I love it.